Tesla fans with ruffled feathers over perpetually delayed products can finally lay off the brand. After much waiting, the electric Tesla Semi's first customer, PepsiCo, has taken delivery of its first examples of the big rig. The beverage and snack food conglomerate's Frito-Lay division will take center stage in the company's Tesla truck rollout plans at its Modesto, California, factory and distribution center, so we visited the upgraded 80-acre zero-emissions facility to experience the Tesla Semi firsthand and talk to its drivers about what it's like to drive. Frito-Lay's 15 new Tesla Semis made their debut at an event celebrating the Modesto factory's transformation into a zero-emissions pilot project for Pepsi as it aims to achieve zero emissions across its operations by 2040. The revamped facility is massive. 500,000 square feet dedicated to turning potatoes and corn into Lay's, Ruffles, Doritos, Cheetos, and Fritos chips, powered by a massive on-site solar facility and local renewable energy projects, both backed by 2.7 milliwatt-hours of on-site battery storage. Helping the factory distribute its snacks throughout the American West are three electric BYD 8Y yard tractors, six Peterbilt 220EV electric box trucks for local last-mile deliveries, 38 natural gas-powered Volvo VNL trucks for long-distance slogs, and of course, six, and counting, Tesla semis, used for out and back trips across the region. Semi-Specs Although Tesla is famously, and sometimes annoyingly, secretive about sharing its vehicle specs, we were able to gather a few details from Frito-Lay, its drivers, and Tesla representatives. The Tesla Semi's powertrain is as good a place as any to start, making three times the power of the average diesel Semi. According to a media-trained Tesla rep, the electric Tesla Semi effectively sports a lightly modified Model S plaid trimotor powertrain spun around backward. The Model S's front motor drives the Semi's rear axle, functioning as the highway drive unit, while the Plaid's dual rear motors are mounted on the Semi's middle axle. These motors feature a Rivian-like clutch, allowing them to be used for acceleration and to decouple once at speed for improved efficiency. Considering the best-selling Semi in the U.S., the Freightliner Cascadia, sports 350 horsepower in its basic form and that three times that figure is 1,050, we're fairly confident in saying the Semi matches the Model S and Model X Plaid's 1,020 horsepower and possibly its 1,050 LBFT of torque as well. As for its battery, well, logic dictates we should look at the Plaid again. The few PepsiCo Tesla Semi drivers present during our visit said the truck has a 1,000 kilowatt-hour battery pack, or 1 megawatt-hour MWH which equals 10 Plaid battery packs daisy-chained together. That jives with Tesla's claim of 500 miles of range and company chief Elon Musk's claim of the semi using 2 kilowatts per mile traveled. In real-world use, Frito-Lay's drivers told us the semi's routes are much shorter. A typical day for them might have them leaving Modesto in the morning with a load of chips, weighing less than the truck's 82,000 gross combined vehicle weight rating and running an out-and-back loop to places like San Jose or Concord, both about 85 miles away. Taking a charge The out-and-backs are crucial because at the moment there are few places to charge an electric Tesla Semi. Frito-Lay installed four superchargers on-site in dedicated Tesla Semi parking stalls, all of which feature a unique squarish plug incompatible with any other Tesla we're aware of. The chargers are capable of outputting 750 kilowatts, far exceeding the 250 kilowatts peak rates of Tesla's passenger vehicles and existing supercharger network. That, says Frito-Lay, is good enough to charge its fleet of Tesla semis from nearly empty to 70% in about a half hour, good for 400 miles, and to 100% in about 90 minutes. Interestingly, the four Tesla chargers are positioned in such a way that the semis must unhitch their trailers and back in to plug into each one's charge port, which is located on the driver's side, just forward of the middle axle. 
tap the port, and it automatically motors open or closed. While the braided charger cable is about as thick as a soda can and is easier to manage than the DC fast charger cables you find at a typical Electrify America station. Neither Tesla nor PepsiCo disclosed the semi's price, but Frito-Lay employees told us Tesla is responsible for all maintenance and service for the first year. A closer look inside. We weren't able to drive the semi, though one of Frito-Lay's drivers said it drove like a car and called it incredibly comfortable, but we were able to spend a good amount of time poking around inside. Pull the electric door handle release on either side of the truck, and the rear opening doors reveal a bus-like set of steps. Climb up and into the semi's cabin and you find, as our photographer put it, more air and empty space than a lace bag. The roughly 3 by 7 foot space features a rubberized subway-like floor, Tesla headliner cloth on the walls, a jump seat on the right side, and plenty of headroom to enable a 6-footer to walk around and stretch. Walk around to the captain's chair, plop down into the suspended center seat, and you have a commanding view of the road with great visibility. The massive side view mirrors are backed up by camera displays on the left and right infotainment screens. Most functions in the semi are controlled by those displays. Aside from the camera views, the left display solely shows truck status information such as tire pressure, while the right display functions as the main infotainment interface. It features suspension settings, trailer hitch controls, HVAC functions, including the seat heater settings, navigation, trip functions, and a host of apps, such as Spotify and karaoke. You can see every screen in the Tesla Semi in our photo gallery. There are quite a few. Who cares? Although material and build quality is typical Tesla, mixed, there's no denying the utter curb appeal of the electric Tesla Semi. For what it lacks in the chrome showing as typical in 18-wheelers, it makes up for it with both its novel looks and the technologies it brings to the table. While Frito-Lay's larger investment in natural gas-powered Volvo Semi speaks volumes about its confidence in electric tractor trailers at the moment, as Tesla joins existing competitors like the Freightliner Ecoscadia, Peterbilt 579 EV, and Volvo VNR Electric, the segment will only get more competitive and its offerings even better. PepsiCo has ordered 100 Tesla semis for its various fleets, so be on the lookout for one near you.